students so welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject embedded systems was embedded operating system versus standard operating system so standard operating system is nothing but the operating system that is present in your general purpose computers that is in your laptops or mobile so whatever the uh, you are using the general purpose system so there you are going to install standard operating systems like windows xp okay and windows 10 operating system so different operating systems are there for standard operating and whereas embedded operating systems is only uh, dedicated to work on a particular task so that whatever the operating system that you are going to be installed on the chip so that is dedicated to perform only the particular task if you uh, installed some software in the micro oven so there it is going to perform some task like heating cooking like that only okay if you want to uh, install the operating system in a washing machine it's an embedded system so there the operating system is only dedicated to perform particular tasks like uh, washing the clothes rinsing and drying the clothes okay so let's see the comparison between these so the embedded operating system consists of so what it consists of the embedded so operating system consists of first application software okay and next uh, the first thing is it should have a real real time kernel the real, real time kernel why we are using real time kernel in our embedded operating system because the embedded operating system should work on real time a kernel operating system should be installed in embedded operating system because it is the kernel is going to be support the real time applications uh, so whereas in standard operating system you no need to use a real time operating system but in embedded means the compulsory let's take the car okay your car is having the embedded system like uh, abs anti lock braking system okay so if you are having that feature then your car is able to manage the braking controls without skidding the car so it has to be work on real time so wherever the real time applications are there then you will go you have to uh, the real time applications will be on embedded systems only so in that uh, systems you need to install the real time kernel operating system so for that real time operating system you should have an application software and you should also have a middleware middleware technology to design the operating system and some device driver should be installed device drivers should be installed okay so a real time kernel should be there so to design this real time kernel application software middleware and device driver should be compulsory then what about the standard operating system the standard operating system will be installed on general purpose computers so here you are having a uh, application software application software and uh, you should have uh, middleware middleware technology to implement that software middleware technology in between that some operating system whatever the operating system you want you can in install so for all those operating uh, for the system to work you need to install the device drivers so whatever the operating system you are installing uh, after installation you need to install the drivers also if you install the drivers then only your system will be work means audio controllers video controllers everything the graphics will be work based on and networking will be work on installing the device drivers so the device driver should be there to install in embedded operating system as well as in standard operating system so to develop the operating system you need to have application software for both the uh, embedded and the standard okay and the middleware technology should be there the only difference between here embedded and the standard is in the embedded operating system you are going to use the real time kernel okay so in embedded operating system you make choice of the device drivers so the device drivers maybe you can make the choice depending on the device that you would like to use and very likely there would be a real-time kernel 
because it needs to support real time task okay so the device drivers may be your choice based on your device okay depending on the devices that you are going to be used and real time kernel is not necessary for the standard operating system so whereas in embedded operating system real time kernel is compulsory but in standard operating system there is no not necessary okay if you want you can keep but it is not necessary for standard operating system and in many cases you will be using a standard operating system to compile okay so mostly to compile any software uh, compilation we uh, normally go for the standard operating systems uh, and uh, operating systems along with applications bundle into a package to be downloaded onto an embedded applications so these are the difference between the embedded operating systems and the standard operating systems whenever you asked about uh, this the difference you need just explain this embedded operating system is having the real time kernel and the standard no need having the real time kernel and here in the embedded operating system the device drivers may be depending on the device that you would like to use okay and uh, you would like to so based on your system configuration you can uh, choose the different device drivers thank you